what can I do? What can you give me? So, she, yeah, baby, y'all want me to move real bad. What is up with that? Will you remain in a relationship without a ring? Do I want to get married? Yes. channel today is a video as you can see from the title it is going to be an updated q a if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so we've gotten a lot of new family members to the aj family welcome i did ask you guys on instagram and youtube to ask me questions <laughs> so we're gonna jump right into it because i don't want this to be too long as well as this video i'm recording I'm about to have to upload this, edit and this, and upload it the very same day. So, <laughs> right now it is Thursday, January 18th, 2.27 in the evening. And y'all know my uploading schedule is 3 every Thursday and Sunday. So, yeah, we're going to hop right into it. I'm going to start off with answering my Instagram questions um, as well as stating the obvious. I did take down my sewing. You guys will see the process in my weekly vlog that will be up this Sunday. So, stay tuned for that. Um... Well, I'll talk to y'all about that in that vlog, but yeah, she didn't come out how I wanted her to because of the products that I use, but yeah. Okay, so the first one says, I don't have any questions, but you look pretty, sis. Thank you so much. The next question says, what happened to Oreo? Um, if you're new here, <laughs> that is the other dog that I had for about almost, not even a year, probably like six, seven months. Um, pop some videos in right here. This particular video right here though is where I did explain what happened to Oreo. If you missed it, go watch this one because I'm not gonna talk about it in this one. You can just watch it right there because it's just gonna be basically repeating myself. The whole, the main reason is my mental and you can, like I said, watch this video and I'll elaborate a lot more in that one. Question so. says, have you ever visited California? Yes, I have. Um, that was actually the first time I've ever gotten on a plane. It was like 2014, 2015. Um, I went to California and Hawaii, like all in the same trip. So it was amazing. And I will actually be going back to California this year. So hope to see some of you guys in Cali that lives there. <laughs> the other question, these two questions come from the same um, subscriber. She said, do you ever plan to move out of Arkansas? And how did you and your boyfriend meet? So do I ever plan to move out of Arkansas? I got a few of those type of questions. And the answer is yes, I want to move to Texas, specifically Dallas. If not Dallas, I would say Houston. I've been looking at a lot of places in Houston as well. Um, Houston is more affordable than Dallas, but Houston has hurricanes. <laughs> and y'all know I'm in Arkansas right now. We don't got no hurricane, okay? Um, a little tornado, whoop de whoop, yeah. But a hurricane, mm, mm So I have been looking at Dallas. Um, definitely would love to go to Dallas. Um, definitely would love to go there like next year. I would say this year, but it kind of comes into play. Obviously, I do have a boyfriend. Um, that'll be like a four hour long distance, and we're already an hour long distance right now. And I don't know if I'll do that. So probably next year, definitely looking like I would like to move there. So we'll see what the future holds. She also said, how did we meet? We met on Instagram. I actually, I don't want to say slid in his DM, but I DM'd him first. But it wasn't on no, oh, you cute, what's your number? Like, you want to be my man type thing? No. He literally said, um, I'll probably put a screenshot right here. I'm going to ask him if it's okay to put the screenshot right here. If he said yeah, then I'll put it. If not, then whatever. But basically... I'm gonna tell y'all what the screenshot say anyway. So I DM'd him. He said something about T and Tamara. Um, he didn't know Tamara could sing. And I literally had just got done watching like all the Sister Sister um, seasons and episodes. And I was like, yeah, she used to sing all the time on Sister Sister. And he was just like, something like you show right or something like that, LOL. I guess I forgot, something like that. So then after that, he, I can tell that he kind of wanted the conversation to keep going. So he would DM me back and I just DM'd him back. And it kind of kept going like that. And then he had actually fell asleep on me and literally DM me the next morning and like replying back to what I had said and then gonna say good morning with like an emoji, something like that. And I just said, I answered what he said. I don't know, I either answered what he said or I literally just sent him my phone number. 
and then ever since then it's the rest is history <laughs> and that's how we met literally but i had saw him on someone's instagram story i don't know whose story it was i can't remember for the life of me i wish i could remember because baby i just want to say thank you but i had someone on someone's story you know maybe someone had mentioned mentioned him or something and his smile caught my attention because he has a beautiful smile so i'm like okay then i clicked on his name went to his page followed him and we was probably following each other for like two to three months and then i had just slid up probably like on like month three replying back to telling him that tamara used to sing on sister sister and yeah the rest is history that's my man my man my man okay <laughs> prince stop <laughs> jesus okay next question how do you find your balance between work and doing youtube videos um hmm y'all know i did go part-time so that's kind of how i found my balance i only work three days a week anyway so if you're someone who works a nine to five monday through friday i really don't know what to tell you um i did used to do youtube when i worked at big lots but i used to work like eight to one i don't know i just i mean if it's something that you really want you're really going to put your all into it and you're going to do it that's just that and youtube is something that i really enjoy doing love to do want to do and continue to do so i don't know i just i usually do i use a planner i plan out my week my days um hours minutes all of that you just got to be dedicated and stay consistent so that's how i balance <laughs> i went part-time and i use a weekly planner to like plan out everything and fit everything into a schedule how do i know she said oh i know i know this sister i know this sister a question but watching your vlogs is like watching being oh i guess she meant i know this isn't a question but watching your vlogs is like watching you being a big sister oh thank you so much next person some guy i'm not even gonna answer your question because if you're watching this you already know what it is definitely not answering question <laughs> when are you moving to texas i would love to move right now girl but asap definitely next year i better be in somebody's apartment in dallas texas okay okay so i'm just gonna say next year speaking into existence any date set yet for when you re any date set yet for when you release your ebook hmm i don't have a date set set but i am still releasing it and i know i said would y'all want it by black friday last november i just don't like to rush things and i don't like to put a date out there or something like that because if i don't got it done by the end then it's kind of like sis was you lying or what's up with it people gonna keep asking da, 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 da. i actually started it though i'll put the ebook cover right here i'm gonna have a few ebooks so the ebook cover you can see on the screen i am actually doing it i will hope to have it finished within the next month because i really want it to be informative and really just touch base like i already got my table of contents but i really want to touch base with every single thing that like i know and to give to y'all um whether that be like modernization brand deals um paying looking at your analytics um with like thumbnail like just the whole shebang intros outros editing youtube music like every single thing i want to be in this ebook i do know it's going to be priced at 50 dollars because it is going to contain so much information and so much stuff so yeah but i probably will do a sale for like 24 hours the first 24 hours it'll be like 25 dollars, and then after that it'll be 50 but yes it's still coming don't have a release date but i'll definitely let y'all know are you still happy with your apartment same person as the same the same person asked that question too um yes i am still in my apartment um i'm actually going to resign this lease clap it up be proud now i've moved every two years since 2016. <laughs> she also asked do you be lonely sometimes living alone even though you have prints um lonely no do i be missing my men yes <laughs> um even if i didn't have prints i feel like i would still be okay because i am an introvert um i like being alone I don't want to be in a crowd. I don't want to be in a big old group all the time. Granted, I like to go out and have fun, but on an everyday basis, I like my own company. Um, I watch YouTube videos. I record videos. I find stuff to do around the house, home decor. I'll go out shopping by my, like, it's cool. I don't think I'll be lonely. I'm not lonely now with Prince. I'll just be missing my men. <laughs> That's it. Um, how do you maintain a healthy relationship? Because you look so happy. Thank you so much. I will say this relationship has been the best relationship I've ever been in. Shout out to my man and shout out to God. <laughs> but I will say our biggest thing is communication, which we are still working with that as well. Like it's like 50 50. Um, but I will say this relationship, I have been communicating 
me and my partner has been communicating a lot more like my past relationship the communication just wasn't there it was a lot of sneaky stuff um just just a bunch of sneaky stuff i'm just gonna leave it at that if you know you know <laughs> but yeah I, I mean honestly just communication um hearing each other out i will say dating each other still like going out with each other going on dates he take me on dates just overall just having a nice person <laughs> you know like not having someone who's nonchalant who's toxic like i don't like none of that i don't want no toxic men i don't want no nonchalant like i don't nonchalant men i don't want none of that like i want a lover boy <laughs> and my man is a certified lover boy to me <laughs> but yeah I, that, I mean that's all i can say we just i mean and plus we're grown but you know grown people still be childish too but i don't know it's just Mm, and I just speak my mind too like he can definitely vouch for that I speak my mind <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you straight up because like I said it ain't no secrets like mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm just gonna keep it at that but I will say communication um biggest accomplishment my biggest accomplishment will be starting my business um AJB Beauty Collection if you didn't know I have my own hair business um hair brand I'm definitely looking to expand that in different ways but that is definitely my biggest accomplishment literally pulling it from my brain and making it physical tangible literally biggest accomplishment ever so head on my back <laughs> next question is would you move out of state I already answered that yes texas next question is I actually went to college with her how do you manage real life and social media i get overwhelmed with content kind of already answered that i literally just plan out everything like y'all see my um vlogs and stuff i have a full calendar that's on my desk i write the days i work um the days like if i want to pick up i just write everything out on that behind me i do have a content plan calendar and an actual here, i'll take a picture of it to show you guys so behind me this is my content calendar and then above that one is what i write like my bills and stuff on so literally just getting down a system and staying organized and literally just planning out that is how i <laughs> stay what she has that's how i manage like there's no other way but to literally make a schedule write it down and stick to what you have on there and with doing content and social media everything is content and it does get overwhelming it's kind of to the point where i gotta think okay i'm just gonna relax and chill and enjoy this and then some other stuff i'm like okay i'm actually gonna record this so i do have a list of like content ideas and different things that i would like to record and then it's kind of like if i wake up on a day and i'm like okay i want to record today then i will look on that list and see what i want to record how do you see yourself how can you see yourself if you record with back camera on iPhone? I didn't even see that question before. Um, I do follow this girl. Um, she's actually Raven's Elise friend, the YouTuber. Uh, her name's Taylor. She actually just showed on iPhone. It's like an iPhone monitor that you can buy. And so if you're recording this way, it's a monitor on the back of the phone to where you can see yourself if i can find it i'll link it down below for you but it's funny that you asked that because i just saw that like two weeks ago so yeah they have this little gadget kind of look like an iphone battery charger but it's literally a monitor you can see yourself other than that if you don't want to buy that or you can't invest in it literally just put a mirror in front of you so do like this and see how y'all can see the questions this camera will actually be like a mirror so the mirror will be like this and then you can kind of just see yourself that's how i record in my vanity i turn it this way so i can see myself through the mirror my reflection would you ever move to another state yes i already answered that yeah, baby y'all want me to move real bad what is up with that <laughs> do you want to get married if yes how long will you remain in a relationship without a ring do i want to get married yes i date to marry i don't just date for lollygagging I date to marry so obviously the man that i'm with yes i do want to marry him <laughs> and if yes how long will you remain in a relationship i always say my best friend was just like what what is it with three years i'm like i would like to be with someone for three years so right at the three-year mark a little bit after the three-year mark definitely i just feel like you're always getting to know somebody like even when we're going to be 40 years old i feel like we'll still be learning stuff about each other you know um but I just feel like three years is just a really good mark for me because 
kind of like the honeymoon dating is kind of over which i still feel like we're in the honeymoon stage but it'd be kind of over at that point and then you know you've already met you know parents family relatives friends um just i just feel like three years is just a really good time because time flies especially now i feel like these years are flying by it don't even feel like me and my man been together we got together in december of 21 and it don't even feel like that like we've almost this year will mark three years in december obviously we just we're together we've been together two years so in december of this year we'll be we'll be together for three years but it don't even seem like that like we i'll be looking back at videos and stuff and it's kind of like i feel like i just <laughs> met you so that's why i always say three years because time really does fly and i would really like to you know just date a little bit because obviously getting married with some i don't knock it now if y'all got married three four five months six months whatever into a relationship kudos to you that's cool but that's not what i want to do <laughs> so i feel like three years is a really good mark for like most people so mine is three years another question do you ever plan to move from arkansas yes i want to go to texas <laughs> how has the weight gain been like it is like is it hard to keep weight gain has been good i'm still 145 pounds i was 153 pounds the end of 2020 going into 2023 um i lost 10 pounds so i am trying to gain those 10 pounds back um i just been in and out of the gym so when you stick to the gym prince please get out I, I can't focus with you so if you stick to the gym and eat right i gotta eat 3,000 calories a day to maintain and keep my weight so go to the gym eat 3,000 calories get enough protein and yeah that's pretty much it that's all i gotta do to gain weight um, it is hard sometimes, but I also um, take a sleeping pill, and the side effect to my sleeping pill is actually weight gain. I had went to my doctor in like 2021, 20, 22, sometime, some a few years ago, and she prescribed me a medicine that the side effect is weight gain because I had got down all the way to like 115 pounds, girl, like skin and bones again, <laughs> and I could not have it. So I'm like doc i literally just lost 15 20 pounds in a span of two and a half weeks what can i do what can you give me so she gave me something and the side effect of that is weight gain but i don't take that every day but um yeah that has helped a lot but also the pill can only do so much like i still gotta eat so that's why i'm meal prepping i cook every day i um just try to stay on the right track that's all all right next few questions that i have on instagram were what about a content creator that you really love the most the thing about content creating and being like a youtuber and stuff that i love the absolute most is being able to connect with you guys who i call my aj family my internet family um prince internet aunties and uncles i absolutely love y'all real bad and i absolutely love being able to connect with people from all over the world like all over the united states i have subscribers from like jamaica like everywhere my dem my um analytics and stuff shows people from everywhere but just having a community and support system that isn't like personal you know like family and friends is just insane to me but it's also really cool and that is the thing that i love the absolute most because that's just crazy like people in florida no i am people in cali people in texas like everywhere like it's crazy so last question on instagram is what happened to oreo i already kind of told y'all go look at this video and i explain everything in there but i will say i don't know if i mentioned in this in that video but it got so bad for my mental to the point to where when i would get off work at seven in the morning i would not want to come home because i knew i would have to deal with all the stuff that came with him like he wasn't a bad dog it was just like i don't know like he just wouldn't listen and it, it just it just became really really bad to the point where like i would like sit here and just cry because i'm like why will you not listen why will you not do this why will you not do that and granted i got him at four months old and he didn't even know his name so it was basically like i was teaching him from like month one and i took him like i paid for training for him i did everything for this dog y'all know that and it just still didn't work and it was to the point where i know if i'm crying boohoo tears and my mental is messed up i cannot have this dog like so i gave it to another family and then you can watch the rest in the video <laughs> getting into my youtube questions baby y'all ask me a lot okay 
<laughs> first question is how do you get your skin glowing you are so pretty thank you so very much um i do have i've been doing like some skincare little clips in my vlogs and stuff i use the ordinary bread and then i just recently started using la Roche posay and absolutely love those are the two products that i use and sarah sarah v sarah v i use one skin cleanser and I mean, I'm not really acne prone either, so I don't have acne. I just get minor like hormonal break it, like breakouts and stuff, and that's it. Other question, do you like scary movies? I love scary movies. Um, can I watch them alone? No, but scary movies is my favorite. Like my favorite genre is horror. So I absolutely love watching scary movies. Now I don't like watching the demonic stuff and those the dolls and stuff and then the whatever they be turned backwards crawling. I don't like stuff like that. I like true like scary movies you know like Michael Myers I, I'm just I'm old school so I love all the Michael Myers the Jason the Freddy um Chucky not scary but Chucky it the clown like all of those type of movies I like scary movies like that I don't like demonic stuff so is there is where you live good prices for apartments and jobs um I stand Arkansas Arkansas is obviously cheaper than a lot of states that you guys live in that y'all watch me in when i was talking about rent y'all was like y'all paying 16 17 18 two thousand dollars baby i can't do it <laughs> so that is what i'm not looking forward to moving to dallas but my rent is good i'm only paying like fourteen hundred dollars for a two bed two bath walk-in shower stainless steel appliances um and really we paying for the amenities that we have like i have a movie theater in my apartment complex full we got two gyms, like a whole bunch of stuff. So my rent isn't bad. Um, I just be complaining because I don't want to pay that much and I hate rent. But yeah, jobs are cool. I mean, we're in Arkansas, what to expect. Um, they pay us just enough for us to, you know, for the cost of living. How do you deal with bugs living alone? I don't do bugs. I can't touch them, laugh my A off. I have a husband to do it for me. Um, I got this one product. I'll probably pop in a picture because I don't feel like I want to get it. Um, I saw it on TikTok and basically it's for ants but it gets rid of any type of bug so like um ants roaches caterpillars um just any type of bug and i got it for that so what you do you just they said it's not supposed to be used for indoors so definitely be careful when i used it i made sure to keep prints out of the house for two days i took it to my parents house and you just put it along your floorboard it looked like a little white powder like white powder and <laughs> you leave it there and i like picked it up the next day so if you see some in my vlogs you can kind of see like white stuff at the baseboards i kind of like scrubbed it up but i still keep just like a little smudge there and literally i have not seen any ants like i have not seen any bug since when i did move in i'm not gonna lie when i moved in that first month i don't know who stayed here or who cleaned this apartment but baby i saw two roaches and in my last apartment i used to stay at i was there for a whole year i didn't see not one i saw one spider that whole year living in my old apartment and i get here to this new apartment before i even move stuff in and i saw two roaches hell no nah. so i immediately went out and bought this product and i have not seen like i said any insect at all so definitely go buy that i got mine from um home depot other question if you hear noises at night that scare you do you um how do i handle it i'd be too scared hearing the wall settle love your videos thank you so much um me I, I get a little scared but i'm also not on the first floor so i'm not as scared as i would be when i used to live on the first floor um and i also have someone had thought i was leaving my keys in the, in the door but it's actually a lot so this little gadget right here someone thought i was leaving my keys in the door it's not my keys you literally put this in in the little latch part put this on like that and then it like locks so if someone tries to if someone even picks the lock and like unlock the door this still will not let them in this holds up to i don't know so many pounds it's on amazon it's linked in my security items so i do have this this makes me feel safe i do have an alarm system and i do have a ring doorbell and i do have cameras in my apartment so if i do hear anything the first thing i always do is look at my ring doorbell and then i will look into other cameras in my room as well as in my room i do have something else to protect me so that's that <laughs> but if i hear noises i kind of get a little spooked but not too much because i don't actually like if you open my apartment door you're not going to go like you're not going to immediately touch grass it's like i live inside a building if that makes sense i don't even know how to explain it <laughs> someone said i love your cleaning and shopping and cooking videos thank you 
another person said how do you cope with living on your own and by yourself how do you and how do and okay <laughs> what did y'all say how do you cope with living on your own and by yourself and how do and did you manage to gain the confidence to move out and get your own place um i kind of already answered living by myself i like to live alone i'm an introvert um i like my own company that's how the other question is did you man how did you manage to gain confidence to move out um i moved out because i went to college um i went to college in 2016 and since 2016 i've been moving to different places every single year um for college and then after college i've just been hopping around different places and like little rock and stuff like that um i got a whole video of moving out on your own between like 18 and 21 so i'm not really sure how old you are but this video may answer that uh but like i said I, I went to college so i was immediately put on my own anyway so that's how you mentioned you dropped down to part-time at your hospital job i'm sure it was to put more focus onto youtube and your brand but financially was it a hard decision did you feel like you would have to make a lot of sacrifices and restrictions for yourself or did you pay, or did your pay from youtube make it easy enough to transition to where you felt that you could comfortably work less and put more energy into being an influencer and business owner exactly um and also the hospital the hospital messed up your mental too and i'd be sick of them so <laughs> i wanted to go part-time anyway because i'm tired of it but my hospital job like we only require to work three days if we're part-time i mean three days if you're full-time part-time work two days i can pick up any given day so i can like i'm about to pick up tomorrow so i'm gonna pick up tomorrow and we just gotta raise so i'm gonna pick up tomorrow and it'll be just like me working full-time so i went part-time specifically just so i can pick up an extra day when i want i don't want to be obligated to work three days but if i want to i will um youtube money definitely helped brand sponsorships definitely helped my business definitely helped and basically i did take I did step down to part time specifically to kind of focus on content and stuff. But honestly, the biggest thing is my mental, like my mental come first. So I literally stepped down just to kind of give myself a break. I've been working there since 2020, since COVID, like nonstop, like three days a week, sometimes four and five days a week. So this was kind of just me stepping down to just kind of give myself grace and just relax and take a break, honestly. But yeah, I mean, I have enough money to support myself. <laughs> with youtube and all of that she also asked so out of all your videos your vlogs and shein reviews seem to do really well but notice that your hair reviews doesn't have as many views correct does that affect the pay or do you still get a pretty decent coin regardless me personally i'm a lot girl so hair reviews isn't my thing but in the past if your posting was inconsistent Mm, not you trying to come for me because the show was then i would watch them because i needed a care Jane video honey and i didn't care what it was um yeah so hair reviews that's what anybody's channel i believe if you're not like a specific hair review channel um if you go look at other creators their views kind of like not to just put anybody on blast but like maya lachey like her hair reviews like are the videos don't get over like a thousand two thousand views maybe um who's another one uh who is it I think it's Kyra is how you say her name. Um, like her reviews, as you can see, is like a thousand, it's like a thousand, two thousand. So it, it don't be that much compared to like getting 30,000 views or 20,000 views. So it's fine. Hair reviews, I feel like the companies understand. Um, but yeah, I still get paid. I get paid. They send me the week for free. I get paid for the video. Then I post it on YouTube and get paid for the video. And then I usually end up selling the wig. So basically, I be getting paid like four different ways from one hair review video. So yeah, it doesn't affect the pay. Um, it's just people don't just come to me for specific hair reviews. You know, there's channels out there that's specifically for hair reviews. So I still get a, you know, good little amount, but whatever. Next question is, where and how do you add your music? I get this a lot. It's going to be in my YouTube ebook as well, but I think I'm just probably going to just upload my... Comment down below if y'all want this. I'm going to upload the music that I use to YouTube, so therefore you guys can stop asking me because I screen record, I download random music from SoundCloud, YouTube, other people, vlogs, like all kind of things, and then I just mash all the music together. So when y'all ask me the name of stuff or where this, this, and that from, I really don't know because I just be screen recording and downloading stuff, and then I be taking music from other people's vlogs, and I'm like, I, I, I can't tell you. It's not like you know a direct link. So if you want me to upload my music, I will comment down below. Someone said, "What happened to your other dog?" I already answered that. How did you find time? How did you find balance within 
me tom your hair business nine to five tom with bay and your youtube channel um i kind of already answered that so i'm not going to answer that again <laughs> i have a prince question sorry i'm a dog lover how does prince feel about being the only child again he's fine he's been the only child for years so he just went back to doing what he do um how does he do with car rides he does not like them he does not lay down he's not he does not go to sleep he stays standing up in his car seat the whole ride do you think and he'll throw up sometimes do you think he would do well with mommy and me outings yeah i'll be taking him out a lot i just don't record <laughs> does he like doggy clothes if so yes what's his size yes he does his size is a size small i believe after two years of dating your man have y'all talked about moving in together or y'all want to wait into marriage uh, we haven't really talked we talked about it but i said that i would like to be engaged first well i said married but he was like well if we engage we can still move together so i guess when we're engaged we'll move together um so yeah we talked about it it's just i would like to just be engaged first like that's just my preference she said can you also do a video on doing thumbnails and what's the best app to do it also tips on editing videos and how to get your music for videos and I'm really trying to start a YouTube and need help. I already talked about the music. I am going to have a YouTube ebook for sale. And about the thumbnails, I just use Canva. I'm a Canva Pro member. I pay $12.99 and I do all of my stuff through Canva. All of this information will be in my YouTube ebook. That's why I think I want to add a um, YouTube unlisted link to be able to show you guys um, how to do stuff as well when you buy the YouTube ebook. But yeah, I get my music. I already told y'all that. So. Yeah, that's all the questions. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, I will see you lovelies then. Bye, guys.